Hey guys, Matheus Castello here. And a few weeks ago, I released a new version of our embedded Linux kernel dev Visual Studio Code extension, right? And this new version has some improvements focused on device to source files. So uh, in this video, I want to show this improvement and also how you can enable it, it right? So if you want to know more, stay with me. Okay, so let's go. Let's uh, start here. Open uh, some device to file. Let's see here. This one, this Apalis IMX6 um, from uh, Turodex, right? The, the first thing proof is the syntax highlighting. You can see that the syntax highlight for device to source are improved. And uh, in the previous version of the extension, um, we had to install an uh, extension only for the syntax highlighting, this one, the device tree. Um, let me enable this here so you can see uh, the previous syntax highlighting, this one. Um, and now the extension already has uh, a syntax highlight coloring embedded in the extension, right? So we do not need any more this device tree extension um, installed. So I already have it here, but I can disable this, right? And you can see the new uh, syntax highlighting coloring. It's um, in my taste much better, right? We have the we have more colors for the sections, uh, for the nodes, properties, uh, behind those the strings and uh, blah blah blah. So a new syntax coloring uh, improve it. Okay, what else we have here? Uh, also, we have a new linter. This is cool one. Let me demonstrate here. For example, I can overwrite a node here. And when I save this, uh, the extensions pre-compile the file for me using the device tree compiler and the CPP behind the scenes, right? And puts here for me uh, the output of the device to compiler so I can have this linter during the editing of the file, right? So you can see I wrote my bananas uh, node, but I forget about the semicolon. And now the device to compiler is complaining about the node that is not defined anywhere, right? I will override a node and this node has to be defined uh, inside some device resource include on the context of this file, but we don't have it. And an important note about this feature, if you want to use it, um, you need to have the device to compiler and also the CPP installed on your Linux distribution, right? Because the extension here, you call this guys to show the linter information uh, during the edition. Okay, what else we have on this version? Improve it, the symbol lookup. So, uh, for example, here we have some symbols. Let me get here. Uh, for example, this one, the E square C tree. So, you can see that uh, when I press Ctrl and pass the mouse over the symbol, you can see that we have a highlight for a kind of link here. And when I click in this symbol, uh, the VS code shows for me a list of all places or all files that I have uh, this symbol defined, right? Um, so, for example, this um, this kind of symbol is very normal. You can see that we have 200 more than 200 definitions across the uh, Linux repository, right? And one improvement that we make on this version is um, restrict the lookup inside the context of the file. So in a device resource file, we have the device resource includes. Inside include, we have, uh, we can maybe have another include and etc. And now the lookup is being done only uh, in the context, right? It's restricted inside the context. Uh, of the file, right? But you can see here that I'm using the previous mode. Uh, the previous mode uses the C tags index. So, for example, for this, we need to 
uh, change here the settings, right? Uh, here on my settings, I'm using the settings inside the workspace. So here I have my Linux repository. It's normal repository, but I also have this .vs code folder here. And with this folder, I can um, set, right? We can write some settings that will be work only on this workspace, right? So here I have a array of the language that I want to index to the syntax. And you can see that we have here a entry to device resource files. So I have to remove this guy from here, right? After that, I uh, I need to go to the embedded Linux dev activity bar here and generate again the syntax, right? This will generate the syntax now without this uh, without the device resource includes. And after that, uh, the VS Code extension you use only at a new way, only the restricted uh, context of the file to show uh, the lookup for the symbol. So let's wait to syntax index. Okay, done. After that, uh, we also need to reload here the, uh, the VS Code window. Let's reload. So uh, this will uh, load the new index from my syntax without the device resource. Okay, so now I can use here uh, the new lookup. You can see that now uh, instead of a list of more than 200 uh, definitions, we had uh, only three definitions, right? Because this is look looking only inside the context of this uh, policy eval de device resource, right? So, and here I have the definition of this I square C tree. Cool, right? But what else we have? We have more. Uh, now, when I open a device resource file, you can see that we have document links uh, for the includes and also for the compatible strings, right? So in Visual Studio Code, we have this feature called document link when we can link another documents, files or source code and etc. Uh, in some strings, tokens, uh, symbols inside a, a, a file, right? So here we are using it for the includes, right? So for example, I can mouse over here and you can see the full path of the include file. I can click here, this will open directly the file. Also, I can use the control click inside um, uh, to include and this will open directly the file. Uh, the same thing we have for the compatibles, but for the compatibles, uh, these are linking to the documentation, right? So uh, if I have some compatible and I want to see the documentation of this compatible, I can control click it and this will open directly the file um, that has the documentation about this compatible string. Another case is, for example, I can have a compatible string that is defined or has a implementation inside a driver, right? For, uh, for example, this one, I have two document links here uh, for this compatible, right? The first one is a .c source code, it's the driver that is using this compatible, and second one is the documentation, right? For So for some cases, when we control click, this will open first the source code, so uh, you can mouse over through the uh, compatible string and see here if you, you want to go to the source code or uh, the documentation and click uh, the link that we want. Okay, and what else? We have more. Now, the IntelliSense is also improved. So for example, I want to uh, override a node and using this new device tree um, in shine, uh, this will show for me a list of the nodes that I have uh, on the context of this file that I'm editing. So here I have all the nodes 
um, restricted by the context of file, for example, I want to overwrite my UART 5, right? Cool. And also, uh, by the compatible of the nodes, we can have tips of the properties that this node um, have, right? So, for example, I want to only enable this, right? So that's okay. But also, I can show tips here by uh, the values of the status assets like disable and ok. I want to only uh, to enable this and I am setting the status ok, right? Uh, so for example, let's go to the definition of this guy here. Cool. And you can see here by the compatible that we have YAML files on the documentation, right? So the extension use uh, these YAML files um, parse these YAML files to get here uh, the properties, right? And show the tips uh, from uh, what the properties that you can um, complete here for you on this node. Some cases, guys, some cases um, don't have YAML files on the compatibles. Let me get some case here. Um, for example, this one, uh, the MIPCSI don't have a documentation in the YAML format, right? It's a text file, right? So the text file is not structured, right? So it's not too easy to parse the properties and everything that we need uh, to show tips, right? So this feature only works in documentations, in compatibles that has uh, the documentations in the YAML format, right? Alright, so this is it. Uh, these are the new features of this new version, but I need to leave here a warning, right? Uh, these features are not enabled by default, right? Uh, these are all experimental features, right? And I don't want to break the experience for the users that are already using the extension, right? So these uh, features are not enabled by default. So you need to edit your settings to enable it, right? Um, you can enable it on the settings uh, the, in the global file, right? In the global uh, settings. And also you can, uh, for example, create a new workspace settings here like I'm doing here in my uh, mainline repository of uh, Linux, right? And edit this to work only on this uh, workspace. So you need to remove the DTS from the CTEX language, uh, generate again the CTEX, right? Um, to use the new lookup a symbol. Uh, what else we need to add these device tree bindings settings, right? So this will link for us um, to documentation, right? You can use it, uh, for example, if you, are, if you want to um, work or with device tree sources um, out of the tree, for example, and use uh, a, a Linux repository uh, to link here to documentation. But here you can see that I'm using the workspace folder here that is a uh, environment variable from VS code uh, to tell that I want to use here this uh, this workspace documentation folder as device tree bindings uh, for this extension, right? What else? This is the most important, right? To work with the new uh, device tree source engine, you need to enable this uh, configuration here, the kernel dev experimental new DTS engine, right? Its default uh, is false, right? But uh, you can you have to set it to true. When uh, we change here this configuration, TVS code do you automatically reload for you. So this will now use, uh, in, in my case, I set it to false, right? So it's not using anymore the new device, the resource engine, in your case, uh, you need to set it to true. And now I have this uh, new device to search engine enabled without new features working, right? So 
uh, uh, if you want to use these new features you have to edit the settings here uh, add the device rebindings and also set it to true the kernel dev experimental new DTS in shine right don't forget about it also i'm leaving here in the description of this video a link for a blog post so everything that i talk in this video is also in this blog post right so if something is not clear by my bad english no problem you can go to the blog post and see all the new features and also uh, i have here notes about uh, the configuration that you have to change to have these new features enabled. So it's it guys, I hope you enjoyed these new features. If you give a try to it and have some feedback, um, I will be glad to hear the feedback from you so you can uh, reach me on my LinkedIn or uh, also my Twitter. I'm leaving here on the description of this video my social networks uh, links and i am youtube right i cannot forget uh, to ask you if you like this kind of content please subscribe to the channel also leave your like here on this video if you don't like it no problem leave your dislike uh, to uh, leave here a comment uh, with feedback because this is um, good for us to improve here um, our content right so i think that's it uh, thanks to watching and see you on the next video.